Yesterday on my Instagram story, I posted a story that was saying basically drop your hot takes. This received an overwhelming amount of responses about the New York Jets to my surprise. I did not think of them as a team people thought were going to be Super Bowl contenders, but a ton of them said Jets to the Super Bowl. I like the Jets in the Super Bowl and stuff like that. I really didn't feel that way and I did a little bit of deep dive into the Jets roster, into the Jets moves for the draft, and I'm going to be giving my opinion on the Jets going into this upcoming season for a year that is sure to be their best in decades. At this point, I feel like it's pretty safe to assume Aaron Rodgers is going to be a Jet for the next season. So in this video, I'm going to basically be referring to him as a New York Jet. I understand he's a bit of a wild card, but it seems pretty apparent that he is going to be there next season. I know that yesterday in the owners meeting, they were talking about how this is something that the two GMs are talking about. I know that there's going to be some sort of um, conflict that they're going to have with the pick swap. But overall, he's going to be a Jet. I think we can pretty much agree on that in this situation. But with that being said, this roster is actually absolutely loaded. They have Sauce Gardner and Brees Hall were incredible last year. Brees Hall will be returning from injury. That did cause him to miss time last year. But overall, this team is loaded from top to bottom. They have a good coaching staff. They have optimistic fans. The team has talent. And this is not a team that is going to fail this season. But is it reasonable to put Super Bowl expectations on them, especially in the AFC that has been the best it's been in many years? Honestly, I don't think so. But here's why. Firstly, you don't really know which version of Aaron Rodgers you're going to get. Yeah, he won two out of the last three MVPs, but last season was an absolute disaster in Green Bay. Now, there's a couple of reasons why that could be. Firstly, I mean, it was just a bad year because he lost his weapons in Devontae Adams. His team was just overall worse. Matt LaFleur is a coach I don't believe in at all. It was just a bad season for whatever reason, and it's kind of tough to tell if you can put that on Rodgers or not because really he had a statistically pretty poor year by his standards. Now, this could be for another reason, though, which is that father time is catching up. Obviously, Obviously, he's 39 years old right now and he's getting older by the second so this is going to be a short window for them to win a Super Bowl I would say maybe two years tops but then he's going to be done after that because that's what we saw with Tom Brady where after a certain point we saw massive regression with him his arm showed massive regression and hopefully that doesn't happen to Rodgers but honestly it probably will especially in such a physically demanding sport like football I just feel that at this point to put the highest expectation on them possible which is a Super Bowl is a bit ridiculous and a bit uncalled for Here's the thing though, they do have an Aaron Rodgers that could be very, very good, but I just don't know what you can expect from them at this point, especially in such a loaded AFC. They have the Bengals, the Chiefs, and then on the NFC side, you still have the 49ers, the Eagles, tons of teams that could make a shot at the Super Bowl. And to say that the Jets are the team that could win it with less continuity than any team pretty much going into the season where you lost... I mean, you didn't really lose a lot, but you did gain a lot that they haven't played together before. This is going to be a team that's pretty fresh, pretty new, pretty exciting. Yeah, they do have another pick to deal with, like I said before. So if they can get that roster together, get that chemistry together by this season, I'll be very impressed. And just to say, I mean, I do want to point this out is that the Bucks did this a couple of years ago where they were mediocre for literally 20 years and then put together a team in the first year they won the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's a rare circumstance, especially for a quarterback that's played somewhere their entire career and is now going somewhere completely different with a completely different scheme that's different but in all honesty i feel like it's a possibility because we've seen it done in the last three seasons so who knows but to say that they're going to be a super bowl contender this year i think is a bit unreasonable and a bit of a lofty expectation for that team and one thing that is very important to note is that this division is absolutely insane this year. You have the Miami Dolphins who are clearly trying to make a shot at a title with their offseason additions like Jalen Ramsey. They're trying to shore up that defense. The offense looked very good last season. So if they can stay free from injury, they're definitely going to be making a run at the Super Bowl. Secondly, you have a Bills team that is basically Super Bowl or bust this year. They have had Josh Allen in his prime right now. They have tons of good guys on offense. Their defense they brought back Jordan Poyer and they just got better overall. So who knows, they could get Odo Beckham or Derrick Henry still. I don't see it happening, but this team is basically insane either way. Then you have the Patriots who, I mean, they had a bad year last year, but who knows what Belichick will have up his sleeve. They could definitely be a competitive team still and be an absolute threat to the New York Jets. So to say that they're going to have an easy road to the playoffs is not going to be a very accurate statement because this team has ability, but they're going to have to fight through a lot of tough opponents this season. But to give the Jets all the credit they deserve, they did make really good moves in this offseason. They were able to restructure contracts, bring guys back, make this team what it could be for a Super Bowl title. And yeah, to be fair, they do have time to make more moves too because they could get Odell Beckham here. They still have the draft where they have the 13th pick and two second round picks to address needs that they have, which are pretty limited at this point. But they're going to shore up that offensive line. The defense is ready to go. We've known that since last year because they looked very solid last year. Now they have a quarterback that will be able to lead them in the future because their luck draft 
drafting quarterbacks has been awful. So this team, yeah, their roster is really, really good. It's just going to be a matter of they, if they can put that together. Also, I do want to highlight Robert Sala. I love him as a head coach. He's an absolute dog. I love the GM and the front office of the New York Jets. This team has everything it can to make a Super Bowl run in the next couple of years. But to put the expectation that this is the year they should win it, this is the year that they have a shot at this title, not just an expectation. I know it's a hot take, but either way, that is such a lofty goal for them. And I don't think it's impossible, but is it probable? Absolutely not. There's about six or seven teams that could make it. And I would say that they are one of them or close to one of them. But with an unproven Aaron Rodgers who had a very poor last season, I don't think that's a like a attainable goal for them at this point. Is it possible? Yes. Is it likely? Definitely not. Like with any team trying to make a Super Bowl run, it's unlikely. It's a long shot. But this is a team that I feel like is way further odds than the Chiefs. Eagles, Bengals, Bills, you have too many teams in their Super Bowl window right now that aren't the New York Jets. Now, to be fair, I don't think this is a talent issue that's going to prevent them from being a Super Bowl contender this year. It's going to just be a chemistry issue and the lack of playing together. You have Aaron Rodgers, who has played somewhere else his entire career, and winding up here is going to be a big change for him. And we're going to see how well he takes it, especially as an aging QB, especially also with his last season performance, which was very poor at best. Now, this team going to be interesting to watch by far, but is it a Super Bowl contender this year? I would say probably not. In the next couple of seasons, yeah, I can see it. As long as they can keep guys that they have on defense and then make sure that Aaron Rodgers has weapons to work with that will keep him happy. I love their administration. I love their coaching. I love their defense. I love that they're making moves to help them win. And I love that they're trying to go aggressively after Aaron Rodgers. This will be something that is going to be likely done by the NFL draft. I saw just because the Packers are trying to get their picks this season because they know the Jets are going to be better, therefore making those picks worse. They're going to try to fight for those picks this season, but the NFL draft is going to be the deadline for this to happen. By then, we will know what the Jets' future is looking like as far as the quarterback situation goes. So yeah, overall, they are not a Super Bowl contender this year, but are they a good team? Yes. Will they be good in the next couple of years? Certainly. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Go ahead and predict the Jets record right now and lock it in. I'll see you guys in the next video.